transcript. Okay, guys, let us start with our WT session. Uh, let us start with the revision of our fifth unit JavaScript, which we dealt long back in the college itself. And so, what is a JavaScript is the first question. And we say it's an object oriented programming language, but this is a scripting language which is used by several websites in order to script to the web pages. Almost all the languages which we have seen in this WT are used for scripting the web pages, uh, creating some documents, creating forms. Okay, but the thing is each of these languages has different syntax in it. Uh, so we have to use that particular syntax in order to create a web page. So when you consider JavaScript, the main important point of JavaScript is it is an interpreted language. Besides compilation, we say JavaScript is an interpreted language and it enables dynamic interactivity on websites. That means the static nature to the websites is not available in JavaScript. Rather, we'll have more updated version that is dynamic interactivity. Using JavaScript, we can provide dynamic nature to the web page. So JavaScript is basically done in an HTML document. So how this is done? It is actually integrated with HTML. That means within HTML tags, it is said to be open and cross-platform. Uh, and majority of websites use it for client-side page behavior, which one JavaScript is used for client-side page behavior. And basically all the web browsers have a dedicated JavaScript engine in order to execute it. During its execution, it undergoes interpretation. That means each line by line will be converted into the digital code in order to execute the program. So this JavaScript, what happens is it basically supports uh, event-driven, functional and imperative programming styles. So what is this? If you consider the application programming interface, which actually includes all these texts, dates, regular expressions and DOM, it has an API in which all these texts, days and dates, regular expressions, document object, DOM objects, data structures, all these can be supported because JavaScript particularly separately has one API in order to handle all these conditions. As a result, we say it supports event-driven functional and imperative programming styles. If you have gone through PPL, principles of programming, I think it's an example. No. Okay you will be understanding what are imperative programming states nothing but the coding format the the syntax format of this imperative programming styles is little different now coming to the features of javascript what happens all popular web, web browsers support javascript as they provide built-in execution environments why are we saying that it is built-in execution environment because each web browser has its own JavaScript execution engine in order to execute it. So uh, all the web browsers, as they have built-in execution environments because they have JavaScript engine, they will support JavaScript language. So immediately, because many web browsers are almost are popular nowadays and they can be executed on any of those any of those web browsers in, the, in that particular environment. This basically follows the syntax and structure of C programming language. Hence, we say it is a structured programming structured. language. Okay, C pro because C is always a structured programming language. So, JavaScript basically follows the syntax of a structured programming language. Hence, uh, because it follows the syntax and structure of the C programming language. JavaScript is a weakly type of language where certain types are implicitly cast depending upon the operation. Weakly type of languages can convert from one data type to the other data type easily. Can convert from 
one data type to other data type easily because just yes, because uh, because it depends it, some of those uh, types are implicitly cast if it is from higher to lower it is you need not do it explicitly it is implicitly converted when you wanted to do explicitly we have to perform um, type casting operation because javascript is again a uh, object oriented language also so you will have to perform type casting there it just follows the syntax and structure of the c programming c programming language javascript is said to be an object oriented programming that uses prototypes rather than using classes for inheritance instead of saying object oriented we can say that javascript is an object based because you don't have inheritance here in javascript okay remaining all other object oriented concepts you have but you don't have uh, inheritance rather than using classes for inheritance it uses various prototypes and this uh, javascript is said to be a lightweight and interpreted language we have seen this point earlier javascript ananta immediately we call it as a lightweight and interpretation of the entire code each line of the entire code is taken in this it is said, said to be a case sensitive language is said to be a case sensitive language and it is supportable in several operating systems several operating systems including windows many of these things it provides good control to the users over the browsers okay next applications of javascript what are the applications these are client side validation can be done because we are writing a javascript program on the client side page that is nothing but we are doing it on the web browser because each web browser almost all the web browsers have their own separate javascript engine that is why it is said to be client side validation is done in javascript and another thing is javascript enables or provides a dynamic nature to the page so so we consider that as a dynamic drop down menus it consists of dynamic drop down menus it yeah, displays my. date and time it is used for displaying date and time below the page okay as well as it displays pop up windows and dialog boxes so you can be able to create pop up windows and dialog boxes like an alert dialog box confirm and prompt all these dialog boxes can be popped up upon the sheet whenever required it will also show the time by displaying clock. and all these things are available or can be done using javascript so where we can code where we can use this javascript to code this javascript example is actually easy to code how because there are three places to put it within body tag body tag within head tag and external javascript to find how that is we will see next if we are saying within the body tag then it will be this is said to when when it starts with script it is said to be the javascript file javascript file type text javascript and you are a c by looking at this alert alert message is used to determine the is used to give the alert alert box alert dialog box on the page okay this is between the this is nothing but we are placing the javascript in between the Auditor. coming to the code between the head tag something like this html body using this is a heading which we are using script we will be writing the same script here next external the script uh -huh. specifies that we are using javascript the document.write function is used to display like a system.out.println and printf likewise we will be using document.write function to display dynamic content through javascript okay next external javascript file we can create external javascript file and embed it in many html pages it provides a code reusability because 
it provides code reusability because single javascript file can be used in several html pages because we are just embedding this javascript code into the html page and hence we are able to design web pages so but if you simply say html page that is used for creating static web pages but when you are saying you are do when we are using javascript we say that we are using uh, we are providing dynamic nature to the uh, to the page by using this javascript okay an external javascript file must be saved by .js when we are trying to embed this somewhere into the html page first of all it must be saved using .js extension so this is recommended to embed all javascript files into a single file this is used for increasing the speed this is one of the examples if you look at here script function with alert hello java t point this particular file is saved using .js and in the html file what are you doing is which whatever is the name of the file that you will be writing here that you will be writing here that is script type text javascript is this is the way how you will be writing your javascript file src message dot js script so this message dot js is nothing but this particular file okay this a message dot js which is written externally is embedded into this particular html file okay and this is all some of our uh, add-ons add-ups to our beautification made to index.html file okay next the same program and this is one more thing upon you will have a button which is used to click upon click you will be getting the message this particular message what is that hello java t point is the message okay next comment line how do you write the comment line it is a single line comment and this is how you will be doing your multi type what are the advantages these are the advantages code is easy to understand and unnecessary code can be avoided because sometimes we add the code to perform some action but after some time then we need to disable the code in such case you can better use the comments and do that that is not a great issue coming to the local variable coming to javascript variables you have two things one is local variable and global variable okay local when you consider local variable if it is written within within what do we call uh, within a function we consider that as a local to that function and global variable you can do it or you can assign it before the function itself before the uh, yeah before the function itself okay so what are various rules for providing identifiers identifiers are nothing but something like variables so if you consider identifiers the name these are various rules in order to declare a js variable javascript variable using a to z like this small letters or capital letters you can use underscore uh, or a dollar sign okay next after first letter something like this you can you can use digits and you can't use digit in the beginning and javascript variables are case sensitive like small small letter x is different from capital letter x that means case sensitive this is this is an incorrect way of declaring variables okay see you can't assign a variable to in you can't assign a number to a variable considering this as a num this as a variable no 1 2 3 is never a variable that is why you are not supposed to start any mm, variable with one uh, with a digit okay similarly here you are trying to con uh, declare this particular variable as a pointer which is not possible which is incorrect 
So uh, when you consider local variable, it is declared inside a function. It is accessible within function. Assignment questions is the more. We'll be giving you the assignment questions. That is why it's better to give the assignment questions from previous question papers. So, that next coming to coming to Kaushik Kaharaja previous class also. Okay. Oh, good Kaushik. I couldn't find you. Mahinder, Mahinder ji, yeah, just now started, just 10 minutes, 15 minutes back I started with JavaScript Mahinder, mm. which we already did, today we, this is our revision class, we are doing revision on this fifth unit on this JavaScript, okay, I am just giving out the basics, how to work and all other various things okay and assignment questions will be given as soon as possible by evening today Sairam you must you it is your responsibility okay. yes sir sure okay, okay. and uh, when you consider global variable this is accessible from anywhere outside the function. Let me take a picture. JavaScript global variable is accessible from any other function. Uh, a variable that is declared out and outside the function are declared with the object is known as a global variable, which all these things you know long back. See this when it is displayed or worked within a particular function that is said to be a local variable. And if it is something else above the function within the script, then that is said to be a global variable. Okay. Next, mute your audio, Sushmita. Use it to perform JS functions. What are my JS functions used? Obviously, anywhere in any language, functions are used because code can be reused so that we can reduce the code. Yes or no? So, this is the syntax for. using functions so what how is the function this is how the function works earlier example external uh, this thing when we this we saw this example when we are dealing with external javascript file wherein in that you you wrote this particular part as this particular part as message.js Yes, this particular part as message.js and within the script here you called for that you wrote some other code script code and there you call for message.js okay javascript function arguments function arguments can be called by passing arguments you know what are this how to use call by value call by reference called by passing arguments so here this is how it happens. See, if you consider get cube as a function, this is a function name and you ask for name. You are just writing the code within the function and you are closing. And you are asking here in the HTML because this JavaScript code is embedded in the HTML. You came out JavaScript. Here you are asking for get cube function. And you will have a button called get cube giving the number and when you click on it you will be getting the code okay function with return value 
when you say function with return value this is how it looks like get info this will document dot write is something like printf statement or system dot out dot printf uh, your java c or java respectively and this is how you will be getting the function which will which will provide you the return value next function object when you consider javascript basically this is a syntax for any new function and a function body these are the parameters it represents the argument used by the functions and this is the function body which is used to represent the function definition and these are all various methods which can be used within the function for example if you have apply this is used to call a function that contains a particular value and a single array of arguments bind is used to create a new function call is used to call a function contains this value and an argument list to string it returns the result in the form of a string okay then this is one of one kind of program where you are using a function you are returning a value to a variable called add this add will now hold number and num2 that is add is taken in terms of function 2 comma 5 2 plus 5 7 will be loaded back here this is how functions work next we'll discuss about this event handlers in the next class any doubts as of now